Now, if you have a line here, it begins right there, and it goes this way, expands towards infinity, all right, you'll realize something now. And that is, if, if it began here, what does that mean? It means that when you regress back in time, all right, you're going back in time, regressing back into the beginning point, you cannot regress past this singularity point, all right? Because that's where you began. Beyond that, you have zero time, zero space, you have nothing, nothing, nothing is the absence of time. Over here, you have negative one, negative two, and negative three, and so on. Over here, you have the beginning point and you create your line this way, towards infinity. So, it always has a beginning point. So, that's finite, meaning it has to be caused into existence, the Big Bang. As stage one nanosecond, two, three, four, and then it moves on to days, and then it moves on to months and to years, okay, and so on and so on and to infinity, to the present day, impact and beyond. So as you can see, right here you have the Big Bang, very first line, into infinity, expands this way. You cannot transcend and regress past this point, one nanosecond. When you take it back, the expansion goes backwards into the point where it began, obviously, where does it end? Here. It ends at a finite point where it began. A lot of people, what they try to do, make you believe that it transcend, it transcends this way, beyond zero time, which is nothing, the absence of time, space, zero time, and it transcends into zero, past zero, and goes into these negative numbers, okay? These uh, mathematical multiples of uh, negative one, the square root of negative one, these are imaginary numbers, and these are just used for mathematics. In the real world, they don't exist. How is that possible? Think about it. If you have, for example, you cannot have zero here, negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on, to infinity. This is zero space. This is nothing, and nothing is also the absence of time, absence of time, alright? So if this zero stage before one, number one, right there, the singularity point, that's one. Not negative one, not zero, not nothing, 
not the absence of time. So, if you begin here, that's your real number. That's where your real number begins, right there, right here. That's one. One nanosecond. Two minutes. And it progresses into hours, three hours, and expands towards days and expands towards years and so on into infinity alright so the very first one is a nanosecond let's say <coughs> so right here that's the beginning stage of the line you cannot create uh, an internal line on both sides. One is infinite and one is finite right here. That has a beginning automatically. That's one. Real number. One is before zero. Zero implies space, the absence of time, and nothingness. Alright? So, you cannot regress back in time, years, back into months, back into days, back into minutes, and back into seconds, and finally back into one nanosecond. And then you cannot transcend and regress past one nanosecond into zero time and then head this way into infinity that way you can't why? because you can't begin anything over here in this stage anything beyond that is imaginary beyond negative one and so on alright so you can have one and extend this way into infinity here's your one nanosecond one nanosecond alright right here remember that point what happened before one nanosecond? zero so you can have one without zero you cannot have two, in this case, let's make this a, a minute, because it's getting bigger. Two, you cannot have two without a point reference of one. You cannot have one without a point reference of zero. That's where it stops. Because again, you're dealing with real numbers. Anything along this line all becomes imaginary numbers.